What up, what up, what up? It's your boys, April Fool's Pod. Back at it again. Episode 118. 118. Every other week now. Yeah. We're back to every week. But yeah. Every week. We every week we're saying we're back to every week. Well, it's better than one. It's all right. So we're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. We're back in black. Um, how's your weekend, bro? Weekend was chill, worked. Wouldn't watch the fights. Watch the fights. Sugar, baby. Sugar show. Sugar show. I don't think I, <clears throat> I don't like watching UFC fights without Nick. I would rather watch him without him. <laughs> He's out of his He's fucking so mind. He's so goddamn loud, He's though. He's crazy. He's the craziest person. He wanted to fight everybody in the room. Oh, everybody started but, going against him. Yeah, he's like, I'll he's so you. obnoxious, dude. I'll fucking fight you. Yeah, he's so obnoxious. Sure one doesn't pour a one. The fucking yeah, doesn't the diamond, diamond baby. Illuminati. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, the fights were good. Fights were good, dude. Cheeto should have messed Cheeto up. That was it was that was a good main event fight. Like five, five rounds, rounds and he just dominated the entire time. Yeah, I was glad that I was glad that he won. I, he what? I didn't think he was gonna win. Yeah, right. Isn't Cheeto no. like a like he, nasty? Cheeto's good, but I I knew Sugar oh, was gonna okay, win. Yeah. But it was it, sh- it would have been close. Uh, Cheeto's never been knocked out or put away in a fight. So he's got the the iron jaw. He got the iron jaw. He got need and face. He got though. need. He they they are saying that he broke his orbital. God. Fought the rest of the. It's in the second round and Jesus fought the rest. Christ. What a beast, dude. I'd kill us. Oh, I'd die. That would kill me. Yeah. Even one hit from, like, they were talking about uh, Jake Paul and Mike Tyson. How that's that, that's, that's crazy, too. It's ridiculous. But one, somebody was saying at work, like, uh, like how much would you get paid? Well, how much would you, like, would if I give you a million dollars, would you get socked in the face by Mike Tyson? With a glove or without a glove? Oh. If it's in a boxing glove, I think I would take really? it for a mil. Oh, yeah. Without a glove, no. he's probably breaking my face. <laughs> or, like, I think you can die, though, right? That could kill you? I don't know if it or could no. kill you, but, bro, breaking, like, this bone in your cheek, you need surgery. Uh, it probably hurts like fuck. You can't breathe out a of A boxing nose. glove, one, just to get knocked out by Mike Tyson. Yeah, a mil. A mil, <laughs> that's <laughs> an easy mil, for sure. Easy. I got on a bull for zero dollars. <laughs> yeah, we did that for a hundred views. Yeah. <laughs> hundred likes. <laughs> We need to do something crazy like that again. No, dude. I'll never do that again. I'll, that That's was sure. crazy, bro. I was showing people at work that the other day. Yeah. Cause hey, have- I was showing the boy, the the wrestling coaches that I, was, I did it, <laughs> and they are like, you could always say you got on a bull. Always. I was like, yeah, I yeah. didn't ride it, but I got on it pretty well. <laughs> we were on it, and it... <laughs> it was very quick. We almost rid it. Yeah. <laughs> no, we were on top of it while it was free. Yeah. I, ca- I, I count it. I count it. It's the counted. video just pans over to you on the... On the- it's just dead, dude. My shoulder's still wrecked from it. Is it? Is yeah. Still weird. Yeah, dude. It's, it's still a. Uh, it'll pop every once in a while. Yeah, that's scary. Bad. How's uh your nephew? He did have surgery. I remember uh, last episode I said he wasn't gonna have to have surgery. He ended up having surgery. It wasn't staying together. Yeah, it wasn't staying together right. So he has a plate and some screws. Damn. But he's good. He's good to go. They just put him in a splint, and the 27th, he gets a check-in, and we'll see how he's feeling. Good and for him. We're good to go. Fuck, that's scary, dude. Yeah. I wonder, like, uh, in MRIs, you know when they have to give they, – it's like a big magnet, right? Mm-hmm. And you have to let them know if you have any metal in your body. I wonder if it does have – if you do have metal in your body, because I have one right here, and I have my implants now. Like, what you – Can you go through, like, a metal detector, like, at the air, uh, airport? I think so. Well, I have – no, I haven't yet with these. No, yeah, I did in Aspen. They didn't say anything? No. Let me see your I haven't told them. Lift up your gums. Um, no. But I wonder what, what else do they do if they can't give you an MRI? What's the other thing to do? Because it'll rip it out of your body. So they, they just, Oh, really? Yeah. Th- I didn't know that. Because there's, there's an episode of House. She had like a metal rod. I think it was like a, it was either metal rod or it was a birth control thing. And it, it ripped it out of her fucking skin. That's crazy. Because it's just a big old magnet. I didn't know that. I had an MRI on my knee in high school when I tore my meniscus. And they just, like, put my knee in, like, this little, like, sleeve. And I had to, like, sit there for, like, a fucking hour. Did it – was your whole body in there or just No, just my leg. Interesting. It was, it was chill. I, I think I would have panicked if it was my whole body. 
Yeah, it's scary. I have. That's I'm claustrophobic. claustrophobic. I think I'm I am claustrophobic. Too. I am too, dude. Not like an extreme claustrophobic, but like tight spaces. <laughs> so I realized this also. Like I, I'm good in like a crowd, or like you know what I'm saying. Like oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like a crowd or like a room with like a lot of people that doesn't bother. That me. doesn't bother me either. Yeah, but it's like a tight alone. Like, if oh bro, if I can't move, I will. Freak. And by yourself. Oh yeah. <laughs> I got. I speaking of. Uh, well, I'll speak about it after. I went and saw Dune 2 in the theaters. Ooh. And I, the beginning of the movie, I was, like, kind of, like, anxious a little bit. Really? Because I hadn't been in the movie theater. I don't. I wasn't, like, hung over or anything, but I was just, like, it was, like, it was, like dark and loud, and I was kind of just, you, you can't, re- you can't like, get up and move. I don't know. I, I got over it, but I was kind of, like, claustrophobic. Really? Bit. Yeah. I don't know. I don't but know. Dune 2. Fire? Best movie I've ever seen. What? Ever? Top Ever. Top 10 ever. Damn. Okay. It is bad ass. All right. I respect. I, and I respect your. What you, you respect say. my opinion. I respect your opinion. Better than Star Wars. Better. And I heard. Okay. <laughs> tell me if I'm wrong. All right. I heard Star Wars bit off of Dune. It did. Like, yeah. Like, Dune came out first and, like, Star Wars, like, stole, so, like, storylines or something from it. I'm glad that you said this because I didn't tell you this, but I will tell you this. I think it was right home. now. Yeah. So Dune the books came out first. Okay. And then I think George Lucas made the film. The star- no. George Lucas made the first three Star Wars first. Then Dune made its own movies. They were trash. And then now the new Dune. And it's they did. They ripped it off completely. Really? Well, no, there's still like a – there's very – there's parallels to it. Like they have like the Force kind of. But they stole the Force. They stole like the – like, so Star Wars is fraud. No, they're not. I don't know. You're Fuck. frauds. All right, you're frauds. I love and I love Star Wars. I love Star Wars, but but you can tell. Well, Dune came first. I think Dune. If there was no Dune, there'd be no Star Wars. So he got he got the uh, inspiration for sure from Dune. Don't want to piss any Star Wars people out there, but I. But we are also Star Wars Fra- frauds. People. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're frauds unless you see Dune too and like it. Okay, I need to go watch it. I'll watch it again. Yeah? It's crazy. I want to watch it then. I couldn't believe what I was watching. Let's go after this. I'll, I can't. I'm playing poker tonight. <laughs> oh, yeah. You said I got <laughs> poker on Tuesday nights. You're telling me the other night. <laughs> Tuesdays are the most boys' day ever for me. Always, Never work in the morning. Go to the gym. Put my money in the bank from the weekend. Get some groceries. Then podcasts and poker. Solid Tuesday. Chess. No, we don't. Sometimes we'll play chess and poker. Going at just, it, just huh? just games, dude. I just, I just what? Uh, what's like a what's like a big pot? You guys. So we do tournament style. So we do. Uh, we'll do uh, forty dollar buy in. It'll be four or five of us for the first buy in. So there'll be two hundred in the pot. We just put, keep it in the pot. So the tournament style means winner takes all at the end. You don't. We don't. So we have a bunch of chips, but they don't really mean anything. They just they're like placeholders. But then if you lose all your chips, then you can buy in again for another forty. And then you have a have those again and then if you lose again you can buy them one more time for 40 so now there's so everybody buys in three times there's like five or six hundred dollars in the pot oh nice but sometimes you need to buy in to like continue like, yeah, to continue yeah. or we have like time like after like an hour or two hours you can even if you didn't lose you can you buy in more so you have more chips so you can bet more and bully people <laughs> yeah I, I won a couple weeks ago i won like Did four, you? 480 yeah oh yeah Daniel Negreanu, call me, call me fucking uh, Dan Bilzerian, dude. With that what was that guy's name? Bitches. He was in like the World Series of Poker. Both of those guys, what I just said. Phil Helmuth. I don't know any of those guys. There's like a big name guy, Money Mike or something. Mac Money. I don't know. Dan Bilzerian. Dan Bilzerian. Yeah, that's how he got rich. I haven't heard of Dan Bilzerian in a long time. He's probably doing just fine. Oh just yeah, he's doing chilling. Good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> thousands of women around so him, rich. millions of dollars. Probably not that happy. You think? If money can't buy happiness, <laughs> it's Dan Bilzerian. <laughs> yeah, if, yeah, 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 yeah. Like that's that proves that you can't. If he's not happy, then money yeah, then buy no, it. Then nothing, yeah, then you will never be happy. <laughs> for sure. So, for sure. Uh, poker's cool, dude. I need to. We'll see. See what's going on tonight. But Dune Two, yeah, fire. I'm in. I'll go watch it tomorrow. I give it that movie. I'll give it nine point six out of ten. That's a big number. Remember I told you Sound of Freedom was like a nine? It's probably like a seven, eight, but like the whole, I, I get the movement. But dude was big, 9.6. It's it's a real deal. 
um, compared to uh, Hunger Games, the new one that Ooh. you loved? The new Hunger Games is probably nine, one. Oh, okay. Those are still high numbers. Dude, Dune is uh, is unlike anything that What's, you've ever uh, seen. What's okay? Rotten uh, Tomatoes. I think it's the highest ever ranked movie on IMDb. What's Seth, Tom- or Seth and yeah, Seth. What's its Rotten Tomato? Do you think right now? Dune two. Yeah. Ninety five. It's nine. It's plus ninety. It has to be. Let's see. What you doing, girl? What you doing? <laughs> Usually just pops up right away, huh? On the Google, on the Google machine. Dune two. All right. Oh yeah, ninety three. Ninety three, yeah. yeah. That's big, huh? Eight point nine IMDb. Okay. Is that that's pretty good? I don't know. Yeah, IMDb is good. Yeah, ninety three percent. That's a big boy. It's a big hoss. Right I there. couldn't believe what I was seeing, dude. It's crazy. The uh, dial's in it a lot watch, more. Did you watch? I think we talked about Oppenheimer last week. You watched? Didn't it? watch it. You haven't watched it yet. But uh, the Oscars, speaking of movies, the Oscars were Saturday, Sunday, and Killian Murphy won the, his first Oscar for the, that. Oh, for he's the man. I love him. He's the man. He's so badass. I need a I need Peaky Blinders. I, I need a movie or some <laughs> a Peaky Blinders movie or something. Oh, I think that's the next. I think they're gonna. They need it. Or did we make that up on here? I don't know. I think that's. A, I don't. I don't think there's up. gonna be any more. <laughs> Piggy Blinders series, but I think they might make it. I need a series or a movie. I need more. Bad. Just, yeah. I still have oh, seen Oppenheimer. you know what I watched? The Gentleman on Netflix. With? Um, I don't know his name. I don't know his name. I think he might be a I'm thinking the Irish guy. Oh, it's about, uh, it's about a real story, right? I don't know if it's a real guy story. Guy Ritchie. Yeah, Guy Ritchie produced, produced it, it yes. or the director. It's long. So good. Really? It's, a, it's eight episodes. Oh, it's a series. It's a series, yeah. This says that it's a movie, so. I'm I think there is a movie with Matthew McConaughey, and they said it's kind of the same, but the series goes in deeper. And Guy Ritchie, I think he directed the Matthew McConaughey one, too. Yeah, he did. Okay, damn, this is a series. It's, I think it's, it's the same thing. fire. Is it about, like, a I screen, kill- right? Like, it's about, like, a Hollywood? No. Oh, no. No, no, no. This guy, he gets like an inheritance from his dad to be the Duke of wherever the fuck they're at. And um, there's like a weed plant growing underneath their farm that the dad knew about. Nobody else knew about. So he has to like come in and like figure out like, oh, so this is where my dad's getting all this money. And then he has like an idiot brother. And it's a good. It's good. Bro. Okay. It's good. I'll take it from you, dude. It's good, dude. I finished the whole thing one day. Netflix. That's what I did on Friday night? Binged? Binged it. The whole thing. I think you know it's good, dude. Oh, you can sit there. worthy, dude. And I even I'll never I stop. even stop. I watched I like, won't even pee. I watched four episodes and I was like, oh, I'm gonna play some Xbox. I played Xbox. It does, I played Call of hitting. Duty for like thirty minutes. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna finish this. It's not it's not, it's hitting, not hitting right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna finish this series real quick. <laughs> I'm watching uh at the Airbender. Avatar? The, the live, live action. action. Good. Have you, did you watch a cartoon? I've never watched oh, any never of them. Mind. Not a big anime guy. It's not. It was not even, it's like a Nickelodeon. It's still anime. Yeah, it's cartoons. Um, it's it's pretty corny. You might hate it. Really? I bet Tone and Marcus like it, though, if they've seen the cartoon. Cause it's like, I heard there's like 500 episodes of the cartoon. Or more. There's probably, yeah, there's probably, yeah. 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 There's, I think there's like 20 seasons. No, there's like 10 seasons, 20 episodes. Yeah, I heard there's like 500. Um, there's three seasons. <laughs> there's three seasons, 150 episodes a season. <laughs> yeah, no, that's Naruto, dude. No, I think Naruto has oh, like, Naruto. or Bleach or something. That, that shit has a, three seasons. Oh, I think you're right. I think you are right. It is Naruto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That you're one right. has you're right, you're right. And I haven't seen that. See? Yeah, we're good. We got, got my anime is mixed got, up. Got there eventually. Got there. The live series is it's it's literally it's I really like it because it's just they didn't try to change anything. It's like corny, like a like a cartoon. They're just it's like the same thing. Yeah, it's cool. So I was thinking, like all these I was watching the gentlemen. All these people have like these bad guy henchmen people. <laughs> 
Where the fuck do these people come from? <laughs> the cr- Are they just an the, Indeed? The cronies? Just, yeah, the cronies, <laughs> bro. They just have them on Indeed, LinkedIn. Just, I will do anything <laughs> for a job. <laughs> Kill. Yeah, They're just the worst. Down for crime. Down for crime. Down for crime. Murder. I'm down also to die. Yeah, to die for you. <laughs> for die for like, <laughs> And probably not get paid that much. Yeah. How much could they get paid? Like the Joker's bad I feel guys. like they're always working. Yeah. Well, and and or are they just like it's or is it just like hanging out with the boys? You know, it could be a lot of that. Like, oh, we're just hanging out with the boys, and I might have to pop around in a guy drinking, drugs, playing just pool. like the mafia. Yeah, they have all kind. Of, they had all henchmen and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think for that, it pro- you get promised like protection and your boys, and you kind of don't get fucked with. You get the street cred, which I think goes a long way. But like for the Joker, like his homie, like his guys. The Joker will just kill them. Yeah. Like, just, uh, yeah, you want to work yeah. for me? The last three guys, I <laughs> fucking took their heads off. I think you got yeah. Like, I don't I don't think there's much, there's many interviews going on. I think he's like, if you're down, then let's ride. And if <laughs> yeah, <laughs> interview? You think there's, a, there's no, no way. Like, but he might, probably finds some really amazing. He might get caught. He might get caught by someone, they're going to take a finger off. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't tell. The worst thing that's going to happen. Don't rat. Uh, they'll kill you for, for ratting too. Dude. Oh, dude. Or even like in a. How do you get into a life of crime like that? I think you're out of options. I think you don't have many options. Or you're mentally unwell. Yeah. For the Joker's guys, those guys are definitely mentally unwell. Yeah. Um, to get into the life of crime. But I guess it's crime, like gang members too, right? Yeah. Th- but they don't have much options either. I'm going to go work at a bank for $15 an hour. I'm going to go rob, rob a bank. bank. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For the potential of yeah. like a half a mil. Yeah. Or I go back to jail, fucking jail. True. I guess I that's true. Well, like the break, I'm, I'm, we're almost done with Breaking Bad. And like those guys, like some of the guys are in jail. Remember, he does like the hit on all of them. And like some of them are like, they, they're getting paid. They go to jail, but they're still getting, their families are still getting paid for. So that's why they're not ratting. But then like once that money stops, they're like, oh, I have no reason to rat. I could get out of here. Yeah. But then he kills them all. But like those guys, Money is a motivator. Yeah, I guess that's true. But how do you get into that starting the crime? Yeah, how do you do? You have to put a resume in, henchman know. resume, or maybe somebody just comes multiple to you and pre- presents you. Multiple kills. Yeah, I used to, like, and it's always like a guy. How oh, much crime you've done? This guy was a ex Navy SEAL. <laughs> <laughs> got 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 sent off for not doing for doing <laughs> crimes on the war. Or like I've, or you could be like I've robbed three banks before. Yeah, like I got this. like I. And I know two guys. Or like the computer hacker guys. Or like fucking uh, computer hacker guy, bro. He's you need not one of those. Life of crime. You need one of those guys, though. He's behind the scenes of life of crime. You're bro. right. You're right. Indeed. Well, you could use your 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 powers for good. You just go be a coder. We can make quadruple doing crime illegally. Like in the Ocean's Eleven. Have you seen those? Yeah. Like those guys are big time crime heist guys. Yeah. Right? But every but every every one of them has different has a different skill. But it's like we're we made enough, but like we can make. And that's more. where they always get. That's where they get them. They get fucked. They get fucked. They fuck themselves. They get greedy. They get greedy. Wolf of Wall Street. Yeah. Got greedy. Yeah. Stop while you're ahead, dude. Yeah. Stop while you're ahead. Stop while you're ahead. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not fucking leaving. I'm not fucking leaving. Just leave, dude. Yeah. <laughs> in the end, <laughs> dude, that would be so funny. In the end, he's like, he's like, he's like, yeah, what's that? He's like, oh, non-alcoholic beer. And John Hill's like. Jonah Hill, the fuck is that? Um, Jonah Hill was like, oh, so like, like there's a little bit of alcohol in that. He's like, no, I'm like not at all. I'm sober. He's like, but if you drink enough of them, like you get fucked up, right? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, no, no, stop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that movie's crazy. That movie sc- like scares me. Dude. That movie anxiety. is crazy, bro. <laughs> I get sad. Uh, yeah, henchman, yeah, huh? henchman. I think, yeah. When you're out of options, you re- you go to crime. All right, bro. Am I a bad person? No. Because if I go up and order food and I have to, like, you know, like, get my food, take it to my table, eat, and then, like, take my food and, like, throw it away. Am I the bad person for not tipping? Oh, like, you have to bust your own t- tables? Like, you have to throw your own plates away? Yeah. And, and they'd ask for like a tip, like, like a, right when you order, like, like a pokey a restaurant. Yes, like a pokey, or no, I don't think you are. Should you tip? Oh, this is a good, this is a good segue. 
I think my mouth touched this. I have like bitterness in my mouth. Um, You're all slobbing on it. It tastes like coins. I don't know. Um, no, they're not bad. I don't think that you should because first of all, they don't serve you. They just, I guess they serve you your food, but they're not like waiting on you. Right. And then, I, yeah, I have to bring my own plates to the fucking trash. What do you do? No. Don't feel bad for not tipping. May, sometimes I'll well, round I it tip, up. I tip most times. I'll round That's it to the I'm nearest saying. dollar. I'll tip. But I do tip, but I feel like you shouldn't have to. No, you don't have to. It's not, no. No. But it does feel like it. It's like, well. Yeah, they're, but if you right want, away, yeah. yeah. Just. <laughs> yeah. I'll look away. <laughs> Just like, bro, like, uh, dude, at the vape store, they asked for a tip. Fucking Dutch bros. It's like, well, you don't have to, but she's literally just like holding the phone in front of you. Like, I'll press no right in front of them. Oh, dude, I feel so bad. I always press <laughs> a dollar is okay. I'll round up to the nearest dollar sometimes, like 73 cents. Yeah. But, and then it tells you them right away if you did or not, right in front of you, which is funny. Like, they're like, you press no, they're like, oh no, sick. Like, they, yeah, cool. But cool. no, I don't think you should have to. Like even our little our little phone toast things at work, I bring it to you right away, and you have to do it in front of me. So that's kind of weird, but I've also been you've been here for a fucking hour and a half, and I gave you four diet cokes. Yeah. So. But you're waiting on people. Yeah, that's it's a different way different. Thing. It's, it's a different, different thing. Yeah, and there's people that are like cleaning the table for yeah, them no, to take no. the plates. There's it, like, that a restaurant is yeah. so much different. It's providing and, a service. Yeah, you're providing a service. Yeah. But it's the it's the ones where you like go up like. No. Yeah, like. No. Dutch Bros. That's stupid. Just because you're outside, oh, are they and outside? You fucking took my order. No. No. Fuck no. Or else I would. Even if I went inside, no. Yeah. No, that's trash. I don't know. I think it's a scam. It is a scam. It's a scam. And dude. they're probably been getting paid like. Yeah, decent. Not bad. Yeah. I mean, fifteen an hour at Teriyaki Chicken Bowl, dude. Also, did you know that you know what? Like Walgreens, where they ask you to like, do you want to donate? To uh, ro- oh yeah, to something I to help say no. child- for the children. I or say something. no every single time. Never, I'll never do this, and this is why, because that they get to write that off if they if they oh if a business like gets a certain amount in like donations, then they don't have to. They, they get money for it or something. Off. Yeah. Or oh, something. those scumbags. It's, it's not even for the kids, bro. It's trash. Scumbag. I'll never donate a dollar for the fucking boys and girls club or whatever. Yeah. No. No, I always say no. I'm like yeah. no. Never. Um, and I, sometimes I do feel bad, but it's like, should I? Should I really be feeling bad about this? No. No. If you do, you guys can counter it with your taxes for charity. Fuck, could we have written that off last year, our whole thing? Yeah, it it's counts uh, as a donation. Five grand. Down the toilet, dude. Actually, we could still file that, right? Well, that was last year, right? Yeah. <laughs> we haven't filed it yet. We <laughs> but we don't get, like, W... We just want to get our bank statements, or how I don't. I don't know. First year we had an LLC. That could be a couple of G's, though. Could be a, yeah. Or it's like, hey, you. Owe. Yeah, or we yeah. owe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Maybe we'll just we'll, we'll just we'll, we'll get uh, it when it comes to it. You know. We'll chalk it up as first to try. <sighs> Fuck, I was gonna say something about the tipping thing. No, I think that's trash. St. Patrick's Day this Sunday. Do you care? Do we care? Do you care? I just say I said we go do something. You work on Sunday? Yeah. You do work? Oh, just kidding. Oh wait, do I work? Yeah, I for sure work, dude. Go grab some green beers. Yeah, but where? I went to Quarter Celtic the other day for the first time in like two years. Fire. Fire. Best. Mr. We went to uh, Canvas on Sunday for my stepmom's birthday. Shout out. Oh really? Happy birthday, fiftieth. Fern? No, Barb. Barb. Dad, yeah. Barb. 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 Dad's wife. Um, Shout out! Happy birthday! Yeah, happy birthday! But yeah, we went to Canvas. It was cool, dude. Sunday's a vibe over there. Canvas is hit or miss. It's either really weird or badass. It was a cool. It was really cool. Yeah. There was music. Like, did you guys get like that little section outside? We had no. We had the section. We had a section inside, but they gave us like tacos. Like, <laughs> it was cool. They had a sick setup. That's awesome. Yeah. Did you get, you get some food? Yeah, tacos. They had like chicken tacos, beef tacos. It was chill, dude. It was it was really fun. They have a DJ. They had a DJ. They were playing bangers, bro. Yeah. Nineties. Seventeen thirty eight. And I was talking no nineties bangers. 
90s and, Ooh, and the best dude yeah 80s, early 2000s 80s 70s t- early 2000s it. it sounds like a Nico, all the DJ good Nico, stuff, bro the all the good stuff it's awesome i was like this it's and, vibe. yeah because my sister was dude, like oh this came out when i was in high school and i was like it was probably badass to go to high school in like the early 90s or like the late 90s like early 2000s yeah what is that like an 80s baby yeah if you're born in the 80s yeah yeah oh yeah oh yeah Fucking Mariah Carey, TLC. <laughs> Mariah Carey, huh? Oh, that's the first one. Who's n- <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, who's 90s? Dude, dude? Biggie, Fuck, Tupac, uh, Wu-Tang. Sierra. 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 <laughs> no, <laughs> not Sierra. <laughs> well, I have a 90s. Pl- okay. Nelly? It's not 90s. No, 90s and 2000s. 90s and 2000s. Vanilla Ice. Vanilla Ice is, yeah. Is he fresh? <laughs> No. What about Shaggy? I feel like that's early 2000s. <laughs> Return of the Mac. Oh, banger. The 90s, right? That's my jam. Fucking Warren G. Oh, yeah. 90s, baby. Snoop. Nobody does it better. What about Natasha Benningfield Unwritten? I don't think so. Early 2000s? Yeah. 10s, maybe? Cool in the gang. Yeah. We're gonna get copyrighted. Ladies' night. That's that's nineties, right? That would be or later. Eighties. That would be eighties. Later, <laughs> earlier. Earlier. Later. What about uh, Spice Girls? Spice Girls or nineties? It would have been a vibe back then, dude. Life was simpler, I think. Back no then. phones. No trans. Like everybody was just like, <laughs> <laughs> everybody was just vibing on their own, and if you weren't there for the story, like you could, there was no videos. Like if you were True there, like the if moment. you were there, it was just an urban legend at that point. Yeah, like you, you told the story. About it you could only hear, word of mouth. yeah, word of mouth, yeah. which is I think is awesome. It is awesome. I like that's how like it's because like, I think we 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 grew up like at the perfect time because we were like we didn't have phones or internet or anything until we were in high school. No, at we, least me. We knew what life was like before the internet yes. and before cell phones, yes. smartphones, yeah, social media, yeah. That's why millennials are the one that's going to change the world. Fuck you, Gen Z. Fuck you before that or after that. Yeah, what are they? What's the new one? Fucking Latinx or whatever. I don't know. What? what? I don't know. No, Gen Zs are the new are the newest ones, right? I think so. I don't know. I really don't know. I think no, Gen I, Alpha comes after Gen Z. Oh, they Gen just, they Alpha? start over? Fuck, that's pretty, pretty fire. One to be named after. That's a good name. Um... Yeah. Why the fuck were we called millennials? Because we were we were th- we we were there through the transition to, of the new millennia. So what are the people before us called? Gen, Gen X. X, yeah. And then baby boomers. So we're Gen Y, but baby boomers, right? No, boomers are like our grandparents. Why were they called baby boomers? Because they had a fucking bunch of kids and couldn't pay for them. I think, right? Everybody was having kids. It was because everybody that came back from World War II just, just started, started babies. having babies. Just yeah. Them out, fuck huh? the economy. Yeah. Really? I think. And then now people well, aren't having babies. I want to say boomers kind of fucked the... But I also feel like a lot of people still are having kids. But apparently there's like a shortage. Well, it's the, thi- the thing is that the dumb people are having kids. Out of wedlock. Anybody could have kids. I know, but do you know how... Like, the smart people aren't having them until it's right, and they're yeah. only having, like, one or two because they can afford them. But the idiots are fucking having four baby mamas and just having a bunch of fucking kids and can't pay for them, and they're raising more idiots. Yeah. Smart people are having kids smartly, and they're taking their time, and there's less of them. It's weird. But that's That's, that's crazy that you could just have, like, this human grow in you, and you, like, poop it out, and then they just let you go home with it. Yeah. Like, there's no, yeah. like test no we just trust i feel you. like there should be a test like if you're like eligible to have this yes yeah even there should if you be a ca- test even if you can't take care of it yeah they don't even yeah yeah should be or like a some boxes that get checked off right yes. like something yes like if you name your kid the, the coldest to ever do it you should automatically you should, you should have to get screened you should get screened right yeah, away I you have a shitty name <laughs> you should get screened immediately i agree dude a thousand percent I don't think truer words have been said. No, have ever podcast. been spoken on the pod. But there is a shortage, but also, that's what they want. That's what the oh. Illuminati wants, dude. Bleh. 
The last <laughs> <laughs> but all, like they want, like they say we're overpopulated. So fucking let's just release COVID and get rid of all the oldies. Yeah, but also the baby boomers. Let's go back. The baby boomers. I'm pretty sure that they kind of fucked everything. Th- 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 so what was before the baby boomers? Like, can you guys help us out, please? We don't know what the what fuck we're it? talking what about. What was this? But like the baby boomers, like they're the ones that are like, oh yeah, I bought my house for ninety eight thousand dollars, and now it's worth half a million. Like, no, they, yeah, exactly. Actually, like life was, sh- and they were making twenty grand a year. Yeah, yeah. The greatest generation is apparently what they're called. Really? <laughs> what the hell did they do? <laughs> Made the A bomb. It was even- World War Two, so the overcoming of World War Two and that entire fiasco that happened during that time became known as the world's greatest generation or that's what they had called it after the uh 30s and 40s and then after the 40s and the 50s and 60s came and then that was the baby boomers because everybody who had no money before the war came back and there was a bunch of money and so they fucked like rabbits and then you could get a house for literally six grand yeah so i think and I don't know why, but I think that they screwed us. But whatever they did, that's why we're screwed. Oh well, yeah, and we're gonna fuck the people in fifty years. But whatever they're no, gonna, I don't, I don't, they're gonna have think, to have fucking oxygen tanks to walk outside. I think, like, yeah, I think it's getting, to, dude. I think it's all just a. It's going bad. AI, dude. I was watching this podcast. AI, bro. It's gonna be. We need to get. Oh, we need to get on board with you, it, or we need to, or we're gonna see, get. To, uh, Elon what? got the first people with the chip. Oh my god! They could they could move a mouse with their mind on the computer. But that's how they get you. They're not gonna tell you the bad shit about it. They're gonna be like, "This is the cool part. Like, on the, you could speak Spanish and shit, and you can read your friend's mind, and you could play VR and shit." But they're not gonna tell you that. Oh, yeah. that chip is too smart for you. Or they want all the electric cars to be electric because then they could just fucking turn it off whenever they want. I don't think that's how it works. Yes, think about it. And they're on batteries. I know, but there's a computer in it. That they, it's uh, gonna get to the point like, oh yeah, you don't have to drive yourself anymore. But they, if you're yeah, it's a, it's overseas control. If you're not paying your bill on your car, instead yeah, of boom. finding it, now it's tracked. I know exactly where your car is, same as your phone, and I can turn it on and off regardless. We need to stick with gas-powered vehicles, dude. Diesel fuel. Diesel. Well, like, let's say like you're running from the cops in like 40 years, and they're like, oh, how about we'll just program it to take it dry, lock the doors and drive him ass to jail himself. <laughs> that would actually be him but they're gonna tell you oh they're gonna say no more accidents there's not gonna be any accidents because there's not gonna be any human error so they're gonna they're gonna it's gonna sound really attractive but just everything's electric no accidents what about flying cars see that would have been cool like in back to the future like i think it was like 2012 they had flying cars probably more dangerous way more dangerous way more dangerous yeah, dude, it's it's gonna be so bad. We most people can't board. even fucking drive. Hold on, let me text this motherfucker back. Why? We're in the middle of a pod. Got, I know. I'm in the middle of a pod. Is what I'm saying. Who is it? It's uh, it's our bookie. It's our bookie. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's our it's our roommate boy. Um. Yeah, dude, it's we're going down a dark path. But we either need to get on board. So who's the to blame? It's it, us. Accepting it. No, I don't know who made the first AI, and this is AI one version. This is the first one. Oh yeah, like the iPhone one. Yeah. Imagine, you I- imagine AI twenty. Yeah. Fuck no, dude. Everybody's gonna have it. We're gonna we're gonna be so we we're gonna be so disposable. You better be like. Oh, I'm special I'm f- or smart. I have a lot of money because you're gonna be. I'm fully convinced. I watched this. TikTok about the pyramids. Yeah, fully convinced, bro. They got me. But convinced it what? It was. It was. It's an electric. Oh, it's a. It's like a. a like it, a battery. It's a power. Yeah. It's yeah. a power. It, it makes. House. Yeah. It makes power. Yeah. It, for it, what though? Oh, dude, for what? That was probably the greatest generation of all. Oh, and it was probably just us. It was just like the, our cycle. Yeah. And we're gonna fucking get to that again, and then we're gonna caveman. Caveman again. Happens, dude. That's that is that is the truth. That is crazy, <laughs> huh, dude? They had. 
I'm fully convinced, dude. This video, I'm locked in. That is what is going on. I don't know how we stop it, dude. What do you stop? Think about There's nothing to stop. We're two guys on a podcast <laughs> in Albuquerque who <laughs> talk to 150 people a week. <laughs> We're not stopping anything. <laughs> You just gotta, how do you stop? You just got to get on the ride and just take it where it goes. <laughs> you're right, dude. When you're right, you're right. Dude. When you're right, you're right. There's not much you could do. Think about this robot shit. Think about this. Like, you know, like there's like these cuck ass pussy dudes paying for chicks on OnlyFans oh, to yeah. like disrespect them. Oh, yeah. Like. Fuck you, like, give me $100. Like, igno- tell me to fuck off. Like, ignore me. And then they pay them. Yeah. There's going to be AI chicks, robots, AI robots, that the guys are, like, doing the dishes and shit for the fucking robots. Oh, yeah. Think about that. There is. Like, the robots. Walk me. To- walk me in the park. Yeah. Shut up, bitch. Do my laundry. And they're going to like it. For the robot. Dude, we're just at a crazy point in time of the world right now. Yep. But That's also, I don't think I would want to be in any other timeline point. Like era. Era. Yeah. The no right fucking now? Netflix. No, it's pretty chill. It's pretty cool right like now. Like you just. The cool stuff. You know cool. what I'm saying? The cool stuff is pretty fucking sweet. <laughs> I think people smell better now, too. Yeah. The people are like stunk. Cleaner. Like, yeah. People are better looking right now yeah, than I think they were. chicks used to have just bushes. Oh, yeah. Dude, just ferns that, down there. That's crazy. Don't, I, you know? I'm editing that out. <laughs> Don't say shit like that on here. <laughs> no, but I'm saying they probably like. I saw a crazy armpit chick the other day. At armpit, Mellow. dude. That's coming back. And just me. like this, like. I was like, God. That's who. Mo- that's who people need. That, that's who. Lord. Need. <laughs> Lord. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> that's what they need. That's what they fucking need, dude. Dude. But like I was saying. But you, this era. Yeah, what were you saying? This era <laughs> is probably the best one. It is. I agree. I agree. Uh, Movies, like, badass. Like, I get it. Like, whatever. Let's say. Music is cool. Yeah. You were eh. like our parents' age. Yeah, yeah, You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe that might have been cool to you. I agree. Yeah. Like, you lived like. When they, were our, when they were, yes, I agree. You know what I'm saying? It was probably cool then. Oh, yeah. But there was but also now kind of it's like, like a, Now it's like movies, Netflix, like all this stuff you could just enjoy in your house. Bad shit. Brainwash. Oh, yeah, brainwash stuff. But Also, dude, like what food, else did food is crazier now, food too. Food is so much food better. Food is fire. They didn't have this many sauces back in the fucking 80s. Dude. Oh, and I will no die way. on a sauce hill. Yes. But, like, yeah. Yeah, what Clothes, sauces cool. did they have? Big Mac sauce is probably the craziest shit that anybody's <laughs> ever saw in their whole life. Uh, Miracle Whip, have you heard of that? I mean, that was big back then. It's like sweet mayo. Oh, yeah, I don't do Miracle Whip. It. No for me. Uh-uh. Dude. And I love mayo. I will not do that. You know what? I like that Cupy mayo. Cupy? Cupy. K-E-W-P-I. K-Dub, yeah. Cupy. Cupy, yeah. Yeah. What is it? It's like Asian mayo. Oh, yeah. I'll a lot of umami. I mean, that's all you need to tell me. Dude, fire. Best mayo ever. I put it on the grilled cheeses. Ooh. Make grilled cheeses even worse for you. Yeah. <laughs> You know, put some fucking sweet and spicy yeah, sauce on mayo. <laughs> Let's just really clog an artery. <laughs> Shut her down real soon. April Foods, dude. Episode one eighteen. Yeah. But yeah, it's scary to think about. I think that. Uh, but also, gonna, like, I think dark times are coming. If I will, and I will say that. Did you know this year? Also, don't say that. Let's take that. Let's cut that out. But as long as we just, it's not supposed to be like fear porn. Like, it's not supposed to scare people, but. People need to wake the fuck up. Okay. <laughs> the woke. <laughs> and not go to the extreme left, okay? You guys need to understand what's happening. Did you know this year, there's like there's like 10 elections across the world this year. It's weird. I In thought Poland, we only do elections. No, but like. I thought everybody else is just like. Grandfathered in. Yeah. How do like kings and queens and dukes and shit? What is that? That is the family thing, I think. Like the queen of England, you have to be the family. So so a that duke, I don't know what so a duke how is. so that queen has just been a queen for hundreds of years. Her family has, yeah. Or That's stupid. So they, how did they? Oh no, no, I think a, I think the king is the lion. But how did they just become that? How did they just like you know what? Like M- nobody M- else is allowed to. War, do this. money, oh, okay. power. That makes sense. Win. That actually that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. 
Money and power, dude. Yeah. What is it? Was Julius Caesar? Was he a king? King Caesar, right? Who was Caesar? Was just like a Roman. Was that C- was Caesar chat? Was <laughs> Caesar? <laughs> <laughs> was C- Caesar? No. Oh yeah, Caesar. Is he a king? Roman general and statesman. Oh, a king. Member of the first triumvirate. He led the Roman armies. No, he was not. He was a pimp. He was just a general. And I think once you get like. Like, all these guys, like Napoleon, I think they were all got kind of gay because they were banging so many chicks. So then they're like, eh, let's try dudes. And it was like a power thing. I think that's a crazy thing to say. No, but that's real. That's cra- I know. I've seen like even in Game of Thrones, you know, like I've, they're I've like, watched 300. <laughs> there's gays in that, right? Yeah. Or have you watched Spartacus? No, that is a lot of that's sexuals crazy, in that. Crazy. I was not allowed to I watch was, that. Yeah, you <laughs> probably weren't. I watched that shit. <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy. That's like the first HBO like skin of match. Oh yeah, that right? and my mom like my mom would watch like Sex in the City, and that I my, and my mom would be like, get the fuck out of the room. But that's right not now. like pornos. I didn't know. It sounds Spartacus like it. Is. Spartacus <laughs> was definitely not, not allowed. But I was not allowed to watch it till I turned twenty five. Yeah, and you allowed yourself. And to then watch I allowed it. myself to watch. I was like, oh, I heard this is pretty good. That's crazy. Oh, I was about to. Say. But yeah, I reeled you in. It's getting. I you reeled, it you took me yeah, out. I <laughs> reeled you. I reeled you in on it. <laughs> I just think that people need to tighten up. They just be nice to one another, you know. <laughs> Dark times are coming. <laughs> You're getting <laughs> negative, bro. <laughs> Bi- did you hear Biden's speech? His State of the Union? No, because we don't talk about politics on this oh, podcast. Oh, it's crazy. <laughs> they gave him some fucking. Methamphetamines or something. That guy was fucking alive. Was he? Yeah, dude. <laughs> he said crazy shit, but it was all very coherent. It's not even him. That was he was wearing somebody was wearing a mask of him. That's bullshit. The clone. Yeah. AI baby. Yeah, you can see his eye socket. And AI mask. baby. Anyways, oh speaking of pedophiles, um, Oscar the Oscars was last night, and have you seen uh have you seen Jim Gaffigan's like uh, monologue on the one of the Oscars? You know Jim Gaffigan. He's a comedian. No, you don't know him. I might. I know faces, but he was like his his uh his monologue was like, yeah, I'm just like a comedian. Like I don't, I don't even deserve to be up here with all you guys. Like I don't even know what I like. I I'm, I shouldn't be up here with all you like like Hollywood celebrities and actresses and actors. He's like, he's like, oh yeah, because I'm not a pedophile. Oh. He said that at the Oscar, <laughs> <laughs> and it kind of bombed. Oh like yeah, they got hurt <laughs> for like sure. Fifty fifty. Yeah, there's like a lot like of people like laughing, and then also, a lot of people, a lot of people like. But the people that, ha, yeah, ha, ha. the people that aren't laughing, yeah. check them right away. Yeah, <laughs> go through the room, check it. Ch- yes, you went to Epstein's Island for sure. Yeah, check them. Um, do we have anything immediately? Else? Uh, dude, there was nothing else. Oh, the uh, there was. <laughs> Thailand fight for freedom. Oh yeah. What is this? Take a guess. Thailand is fighting <laughs> for freedom. That's no, that's no. my guess. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, so the new war is against Thailand and Ukraine in the Bahamas. Just kidding. Just kidding. There's a UFC fighter that um, you might know his name. You might know who he is, but I guess he used to he used to fight people in prisons. Like not, he wasn't in prison, but like he'd go to the prison yeah, and fight people. But if they beat him, they would get their freedom. <laughs> oh no way! And have you seen that? What's and he that said, movie? And they were like, you kind of like let him win, right? Because he's like, fuck no, I won every. I'll I'll never lose. <laughs> I don't give a fuck pimp. if I'll give them their freedom. That's pimp, bro. <laughs> that is badass. He's like, do you understand how bad these guys want to get free? No, I'm not. I will never lose. <laughs> I be all. I I smoked them all. <laughs> let me find. Let, let me see what his name is. But I but I think he's supposed to fight somebody crazy. And then I think Brendan Schaub was interviewing him. He's like, like, oh yeah, you let a couple of the guys go, right? Like for their freedom. He's never. like, no, absolutely not. Thailand freedom, prison, fighting UFC. Cody. Moberly. Unpredictable rise to infamy. 63 Muay Thai. Oh, yeah, and the prisoners are, like, trained in Muay Thai, too. Like, they're, like, fighters. And he just goes in there and smokes them. Kills them. 
Yeah, I thought that was interesting. I thought that was that's, that's crazy. crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so it's Doing the no Lord's work. Even if they're like murderers, whatever. Like if you could beat this fighter, you could get free, and nobody's winning. It's crazy. <laughs> I forgot. I don't know if this is him. Have you seen that game? Um, it's a movie. It's not a game, but it's a, it's a movie, and they put these people in that like game. Call of Duty, pretty much. But it's real, like oh, prisoners with uh, Russell Crowe. No, uh, Gerard Butler. Gerard Butler. Yes. And they're like, you you have to win five matches and you get your freedom. Uh -huh. And they're like, nobody makes it past three. Uh -huh. And this guy has four already. And the kid, there's a kid in there. That's and there's badass, yeah, right? That's controlling them. Oh, that's controlling the player. The guy. Yeah. 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 Yes. <laughs> that's crazy. He's controlling Gerard they Butler. They should do that. Fuck. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'd pay pay per view for that. Yeah, you can live stream it. Watch that shit. Yeah. Bet, bet on them. Bet yeah. on which guys. Bet on them. Because you're betting on the player. Yeah. The kid doing that. Not Just have like Nick Merckx with a guy. Nick Merckx. Is that a name? He's a streamer. Fire? Yeah. Damn. With fucking like a, like a criminal guy. Yeah. Cr yeah. Damn. What is that movie called? What is it called? I think it's called The Gamer or something. It, I think it is called Gamer. Gamer Russell. Oh, no. Gerard. Gamer fire, damn, twenty nine percent ahead of their time. It's a good. It's <laughs> it good. is a good movie. Twenty nine percent. Yeah, I'll sign off on it. I'll it's a good movie. It. Rated R. It's kind of scary. It hooks you in. Yeah. But that this is way ahead of its time. When was this? Two thousand nine. Yeah, the shit that they're doing this movie, like the the kids in like a virtual reality room. That's literally what's gonna happen. Yeah, he's got goggles on. You know, you you think it'll ever fifteen get, years? You ago. think he'll ever? Like get as far as like uh, uh, ready, ready player, player one. one. I don't think while we're al I hope while we're alive, but no, that's crazy. I'll be down for it if it's that. Ready Player One is <laughs> badass. But all this shit, dude, they put right in front of us, and they, it's cool to watch our movies, and they're doing it behind the scenes. If they do, you are conspiracy <laughs> city today. <laughs> Just, I'm sick of it, dude. I'm fed up. <laughs> Two guys doing a pod, baby. <laughs> What can we do? <laughs> what can we do? <laughs> we're, bu we're, building, we're building a resistance, dude. For all you military-aged males out there, better get off your we're, ass. We're older than that now, right? Oh, yeah, we can't get in the military, dude. Like, you couldn't? Like, you're like, one day, like, you know what? I feel like fighting for my country. I, yeah. No, we couldn't. No, we couldn't even enlist. I think at 28, you're done. Oh, is it? I think. I didn't know that. I think my dad was like, yeah. I was like, I, was like, I think I was joking one year. I was like, what if I just joined the army nowadays? He's like, no, it's over. That's over for me. And you're going to be in there until you're 70 if you did, if you could. <laughs> because you're fucking. <laughs> I was like, fuck, that's fair. I didn't know that. I, I don't think that we can join it now. We need to have your dad on here and get yeah. some knowledge on this. Yeah, we'd ha I'd have to give him things to not talk about, I think. Oh, no, I think you'd let him just let him, rip. Let, him rip. <laughs> okay. let him go free reigns, bro. Yeah. I think that'd be a great episode. Shout out, Dad. He's listening right now. Yeah, let him just go free. He was like, he texted me the other day. He's like, he's like, listening to your pod. You guys are pretty funny. He's like, you need to learn your geog geography. <laughs> oh yeah, he probably, bro. That probably drives <laughs> him nuts. There's shit my dad would tell me. He's like, I don't know what you said at the pod the other day, but I was ready to just text you and just <laughs> fucking yell at to you. break my yeah. fucking phone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So we, I think we I get put on the spot here, and I'm like, if I go blank about oh, that yeah. shit, I think if we added like a test, no cameras, we could probably do it. No, I don't think you could. I don't think I could. The geography. States, we got uh, the Mount Everest. We got that one, China. Yeah, we did. I think that's it. Where are the pyramids at? Egypt. What continent? Africa. Africa. There we go, baby. Ah, uh, damn. See? We know things. <sighs> we know things that we need to know right now. Yeah. But, uh, um. Yeah, I'm going to hold my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> Just you rip keep, it. You keep reeling me back out, which is good. Got to reel you in sometimes. No, we need to get canceled, dude. This, here's the thing. If you make all the military-age males trans, then that's how you win. <laughs> Nobody's gonna fight for your country now because they're all chicks. 
And I will say that. Oh, my God. And I'll end it at that. And that's this week's episode. And no, I'm just kidding. No, I have five, four, three, two, one. Canceled. Cut, the, <laughs> cut it. Cut it. Play the music. Just kidding. Um, no, I was watching this guy on TikTok. And he's been feeding these ants, Zins, every day. And he's like, on he's on like day like seven. He gives them a pouch and they all eat it or feeding no, them a little powder. No, cut, he cuts he cuts two pouches and sprinkles and it and sprinkles it on the little ant hill and the ant hill has just gotten like huge. He's like and they know he's like I show up and they start coming out. They want it and they he's like yeah so I sprinkle like, it and he's like I give them one out of my lip just to blow suck them. on it. Yeah, they probably are getting hyped that addicted as fuck. Oh yeah, addicted. Right? Like yeah, dude. <laughs> Cause this hill, it started really small, and oh now, God. bro, this hill's huge. He's like, look, they've they've gone off over here, and he, you need to send me that. Oh, I'll send you it. Oh my God. Yes, and um, and then I was li- I was uh, I saw something about like these scientists. They filled an ant hole with cement. It took them ten days to fill the cement to fill the the ant hole with cement, and they like after they they did it, they let it like um, harden harden. And then they they dug into it. Oh, so they could see the they could see like the city. It's twenty six miles or something. It's like a it was I don't know twenty six miles, but it's this crazy number, and you could just see like, like the tunnels and the their tunnels, cities and shit. the little like ca- bro. It is crazy. What it's like fuck? ten feet down. It is incredible. They're doing crazy shit down oh, there. Oh yeah, dude. These ants are Damn. crazy. We're lucky that they're not bigger, human size, <laughs> dog size even at that. Oh, dude. This big? Yeah. Fuck no. A mouse size? A, a iPhone size, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they could rule the world. They could rule the world. They're fat and they're strong as shit. They're strong. They're probably getting so keyed up on those oh, fucking dude, zins. Dude. Sick. <laughs> they're in it on the zins, bro. Oh yeah, if we could get addicted on those, those guys are f- locked oh. in on zins, dude. I, and I they're was, doing crazier shit down there than six we Six milligrams. He's giving them six milligram oh. little. I like that he rips it out and oh yeah, cuts it, it and just sprinkles it oh on on God. top of it. That's it's great. So shout out Zinans. Shout out Zinans. Shout, shout them out, <laughs> Alan Iver Zins. Alan Iver Zins. Go see Dune Part Two for Zendaya. The new Zindiana Jones won no awards last night. Was it? Have you watched it? No. I liked Indiana Jones. Harris Zin Ford it wasn't his best performance. I love Indiana it. Jones, but I haven't seen I haven't seen the new one. What else have I been? We have a uh, that the oh yeah, let's pull it up, boys. Um, the Astro Boys are hosting a house show at FX next Thursday. That's gonna be March twenty first next Thursday. Um, we got some local hitters: uh, Aaron Bliss, Dom Draper, and it is called House Heaven, which. I want to take credit for coining just because my last 21 playlists on SoundCloud are named House Heaven. So <laughs> uh, I spell house differently, though. So I'll give this one to I'll give this one to my. How Scott. do you spell it? No, I'm not telling you. House. <laughs> house. Uh, but yeah, that should be fun. Get your tickets at uh, I'm going to say AstralEntertainment.com. That's going to be at FX. And maybe FX one. FX t- Rooftop. Yeah. But they got the boys <laughs> logo on there. You can see it. You can see it really yeah. at, tiny at the bottom. But shout out Astro. The boys are doing good, bro. They're killing it, dude. They're, they're killing it. They're having big shows almost what, every week, every month. So oh, they're, yeah, they're doing really well, especially seeing them grow from what they started at. Yeah. yeah. We need to get Adam back on here. Oh, yeah. We need, I love Adam. I saw him the other night. Yeah. I love Adam. Me I'm too. so down. But yeah, March, tw- March 21st, Thursday, FX. Get your house on. But I think that's <laughs> it for today's episode. We... Went on a tangent. I know. I'm, I'm, I need to watch this one before I post it, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. It's fine. If you guys – make sure you guys like, subscribe, no, make comment. Make sure to talk shit and send this to all your fucking liberal left, extreme left, green tree hugging granola friends <laughs> and to cancel us. Post it on their TikToks. Send it to your – send it to your your gay mom. Send it to oh your fucking everybody. Okay. We'll cut that part out. May, yeah. Send us to the cops. <laughs> Call the fucking cops on us. 
because we need a fucking Tuesdays at five. We're here. We, we, Studio yeah. five one nine. Tom to come get us. I almost ripped my address, dude. I almost, I almost ripped my, I almost ripped my parents' yeah. address. But we need to get these fucking numbers up. So I'm done being silenced. I will not be silenced. <laughs> Joe Rogan. By the fucking left. Joe Rogan. Go listen to Joe Rogan and go <laughs> hunt elk and go go kill animals for your for your dinner and go work out and do deadlifts and take steroids and testosterone. And don't drink and drive. Legalize steroids. Play the music. 